got here is a 2016 VFSS with an Alice 3 in it. Just finished doing one of our Dynamotive cam kits in it. About to go out on a road test with Paulie. Hey mate. Paulie. So we're in this um, VFSS? Yeah, VFSS manual. With a LS3 in it, 6.2 litre. Correct. And you have done? A, uh, I've done headers and cats, yep. a Dynamotive camshaft, and an OTR with a custom tune on it. Obviously this one here, manual. So manuals are good fun. Um, you can get a little bit more camshaft into them. There's a little bit more, uh, little bit more variety. Um, you know, not having to worry about a, the auto with the converter. In saying that, it's not like we haven't got a large assortment of camshafts to sort, sort out all your auto requirements as well but this one here in particular is uh 228 242 <laughs> yeah 228 242 at 50 thou and 116 and it's really really drivable it is very drivable so you don't get any of that funny you know clutch surge or you know anything like that like it still picks up exactly the same way the throttle comes on nice and smooth like it's not jerky or anything like that and then uh when you want to put your foot into it and give it a go it's uh it's got plenty of bark to match the bite so and it sounds tough as well does sound good yeah it sounds gross dyno results so it came in with it was just under 260 kilowatts at the wheels yeah so 255 ish i think it was yeah yep. something pretty close to that and we managed to get out of it 344.9 i think yeah yeah so uh absolutely incredible results again uh again you know just goes to show that you don't necessarily have to have a giant cam and and everything else like you know the thing will barely idle in order to make the power like plenty of our big power combinations do come from more of the mild you know sedate cam sort of specs and uh and the results come up great it's yeah, not I mean, not over the top it's got some decent personality you know you can hear the roll of the cam which is uh which is awesome it sounds good it sounds tough Still headers high flow cats. Yep. We've paired that up to the, the factory style exhaust system there. Inch and seven eighth stainless steel headers, high flow cats, and we've basically adapted that to the uh, the standard exhaust, which performs really well, uh, especially on these uh, VF LS3s that come factory with the bimodal rear mufflers standard. Um, you know, you can you can change the midsection and the rear of the uh, the exhaust you know to get a little bit more out of it but as far as uh exhaust goes standard exhaust goes these these perform really well oh we're going to talk about the over the radiator yeah so we use the vcm uh otr yep um for numerous reasons first of all it gives absolutely awesome results yep uh the next thing is it gives a really cool induction noise a lot of people love that and lastly and purely for aesthetics it comes with all the trims to really uh you know, fit the car nicely, all the side wings, the, the infill panel from where the standard airbox goes, you know, all those sort of things. Yep. So under the bonnet, it's aesthetically really pleasing. Um, set of inch and seven eight headers, high flow cats, and a custom dyno, you know, from, from us giving you this awesome amount of power. Yeah, you know, just a touch on a 350 kilowatts. Woo! What more could you want? <laughs> no. I'm just gonna jump on, or when we pull up, I'll just leave it idling just so I can show that note at idle because it's um it's pretty cool